Hi everyone, this is a recorded presentation of a research entitled An Investigation of Learning Oriented Assessment in Higher Education, a Case Study of GFP Instructors at University of Paraimi. It's submitted to the 9th International Conference on Languages, Linguistics, Translation and Literature. It was done by Asma Azani. During this presentation, at the beginning, I'm going to present the research problem statement. After that, I'm going to present the purpose of the study, the research questions, the research literature review. After that, I'm going to present the research methodology, including the main instrument that I have used, the main data, uh, the main procedures that I have followed in order to collect data, and the main ways that I have used in order to uh, analyze them. After that, I'm going to present the study findings, the research, the research implications for a practice, the research recommendations, and I'm going to conclude this presentation by presenting the research limitations. Let's start with the first point, which is research problem statement. Although there are many attempts to reform higher education in terms of quality and quantity, either in Oman or the Arab Gulf region, to graduate learners with knowledge and skills needed in private and public sectors, Graduate learners show poor academic and professional performances. Students lack knowledge and soft skills such as critical thinking skills and problem solving strategies. According to Ali 2013, he said that assessment in higher education is vital as it provides information about students' learning, students' progress, teaching quality, and the accountability of a program or institution. For Hadi 2021, uh, has mentioned that the reformation of education in the 80s and 90s was shifted from learning as a product to learning as a process. On the other hand, testing was shifting from measuring students' language products as an outcome of learning to students' involvement in the process of learning. It was shifted into assessment that assesses, that assesses students' ability to apply what they have learned in real-life situations. Of course, in literature, we have different types of assessment. And the main difference between uh, learning oriented assessment and the rest of assessment, uh, the rest types of assessment, is that the other types of assessment focus on the process and the outcome of learning greatly, while learning oriented assessment emphasizes in connecting learning and assessment to inform learning and instruction together. That's why it's better than the rest of assessment. Therefore, the motivation of the current study is to investigate the University of Primary GFP instructors' knowledge and practices in, in applying learning-oriented assessment as the only assessment that combines learning and assessment together. Therefore, the purpose of this study is to investigate the University of Primary General Foundation program GFP instructors' knowledge and the practices of applying learning-oriented assessment LOA. This research aims to answer three questions. The first question is, what is the University of Primary GFP instructor's knowledge of learning-oriented assessment? The second question is, what are the University of Primary GFP instructor's practices of applying learning-oriented assessment principles, which are learning-oriented assessment tasks, uh, learners' involvement in assessment processes, and learners' involvement in feedback and feed-forward? The third question is, which principle of learning-oriented assessment is more applied by GFP instructors at University of Primary than the rest of the learning-oriented assessment principles? Of course, now let's move to the main research literature review. Of course, the literature review of my research was divided into various sections. The first section uh, focused on the, conceptual, uh, on the conceptual framework. I have focused there uh, or during my research in one main definition of learning-oriented assessment, which is as the following. Learning-oriented assessment is a kind of assessment which is uh, characterized as donating assessment processes in which its learning elements are emphasized more than its measurement ones. Of course, the second section focus, focuses on the theoretical underpinnings of learning-oriented assessment, and there I have focus on learning-oriented assessment framework. Uh, the third section uh, focuses on reviewing the past studies of learning-oriented assessment. And after reviewing the past studies, uh, I have found that there is no clear definition of learning-oriented assessment. Uh, there is uh, there are the studies that 
show learning oriented assessment origin. Uh, also, uh, I have found that we need more studies that show the way of implementing learning oriented assessment in various educational contexts. And also, I have found there is initial attempts to design models and frameworks of LOA. So we have also dearth of studies that show uh, different models or frameworks of learning oriented assessment. Now let's move to the research methodology. OK, the main instrument that I have used uh, in order to collect data data. Is what teacher learners oriented assessment questionnaire. Uh, of course, I have followed specific uh, ways in order to collect data, and they are as the uh, as the following. At the beginning, I try to get the ethical approval of the research conduction. After that, I try to explain the study purpose to the participants and inform them of their responses, confidentiality and uh, anonymity. After that, I try to get the participants participation consent. After that, I try to um, distribute uh, the questionnaire to the OMI GFP teachers by emails. And after that, I try to analyze the participant responses and find the result. Of course, I have used SPSS software in order to uh, analyze data and I have used the descriptive statistics. After analyzing data, I have found the following. The following GFP instructors knowledge of learning oriented assessment. I have found that GFP instructors have knowledge in identifying the skills to be assessed when they design tasks and recognizing the role of talk and interaction and structuring and mediating learning more than the rest of the investig investigated aspects. For the second question, what are the University of Premier GFP instructors practices of applying learning oriented assessment? I have found that. The University of Premier GFP instructors practices of designing real world tasks that are aligned with the courses. Learning outcomes, students involvement in the assessment processes. By explaining rubrics criteria and learners involvement in feedback and feed forward by offering feedback that is linked to the purpose of the assessment and specific criteria are higher than the other aspects of. Learning oriented assessment principles. For the third question, which principle of learning oriented assessment is more applied by GFP instructors at the University of Paraimi than the rest of the principles I have found that the principle of learner of learners involvement in assessment processes is more applied by GFP instructor than learners involvement in fe uh, feedback feed forward and learning oriented assessment tasks inclusion inclusion principles respectively. Now let's move to the implications for a practice. Uh, I have found five implications. The first one, GFP instructors of the University of Primary have the general knowledge of assessment that activate the measurement faction, not the measurement and learning ones together. They have knowledge of psychometric assessment, the assessment which focuses on the product of learning more than the audiometric assessment, a kind of assessment that focuses on the process of learning. The second implication is that GFP instructors apply the assessment task that their purpose is to provide evidence of a student's performance, performance, not to provide learning and the evidence of their performance at the same time. They focus on assessment tasks that contain measurement oriented as uh, aspects, not learning oriented aspects. The third implication is that the assessment practices by GFP instructors are for certification, not for certification and learning together. Their practices focus on measuring performances, not developing evaluative capacity of students. GFP instructors practice the psychometric process of assessment, not the idiometric one. Their practices emphasis uh, on the product of learning, not the process one. They follow teacher centered method, not the student centered one. The fourth application is that JFP instructors practices of assessment are directed to provide evidence of a student's performance. However, 
they do not activate the actionable feedback. They could assess a student's work, but they do not consider it on timely and for forward looking for, uh, feedback to help a students reaching the targeted expectations of a course. The fifth implication is that JFP instructors try to involve students in the learning process and develop their self-directed skills. However, they do not give them an opportunity to practice the reflective practice. They do not help them to criticize a situation, think of it or to act or to do something toward it. Now let's move to the research recommendation. Okay, this research study recommends all curriculum designers to design books applying learning-oriented assessment. Tasks could be designed in a way that enhances learners to achieve a specific outcome greatly. Tasks should activate project-based learning. They should also enhance the evaluative capacity of learners. Furthermore, professional development development uh, programs should raise the awareness of such type of assessment. Teachers have to know learning oriented assessment principles and enhance their practices of applying it. Therefore, students competencies could be improved and the job market requirements could be met. Of course, also this research uh, has investigated the instructor's knowledge and skills uh, knowledge and practices of applying learner oriented assessment. It was good if it was uh, able to answer the following two questions. What are the factors that hinder teachers of applying student centered approach? And what are the factors that prevent teachers of applying timely and forward looking feedback to help students reaching the targeted expectation of a course? This is the end of this presentation. Thanks a lot for uh, your thanks a lot for listening, and thanks a lot for the conference that it gives uh, me an opportunity in order to present my research. Thanks a lot, and see you.